In this video, I'm talking about this really cool text reveal animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, but before we can begin the text animation, we need to first create our text. So we're just gonna go into the typewriter tool here. So select the T icon, that's the type tool. Then you just wanna go ahead and select the program and we'll just type out a word or a phrase of our choice. But then you wanna to go to the effect controls window on the left, or alternatively, you could go into the essential graphics. So you wanna make sure essential graphics is selected if you're going for that option. And then you can go over to the right and adjust it over here. So as you can see, I could change the font, I can center this up, I can change the fill color. But alternatively, if you didn't wanna do that in essential graphics, then you can also just do that in the graphics menu on the left in effect controls. So we'll just center this all up, just nudge this down to the center. And if we zoom into the timeline, you can see we've got this 10 second clip of this static text. It's not doing anything at the moment. We just need to go ahead and create the line. So we want this vertical line to appear slide across and disappear. And as it appears on, it's going to bring on the text with it. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna to go to the new item button. And there's a few different ways of doing this. You could go for black video, you could go for transparent video, but I'm gonna go black video. Drag that onto video layer two. Then we're gonna go into effects. So that is up here in my top right. And you just wanna go ahead and search for tint. So there's T-I-N-T. Drop that onto your black video and we'll change the tint matte black two value to a color of your choice. So let's go for yellow. That's nice and vibrant, it's gonna pop. Now you wanna go ahead and go to the motion. So you've got effect controls, video motion. We want to uncheck uniform scale. So this means we can adjust the height and the width independent from one another. We'll pull the width to one and we'll pull the height to around 10. Gonna to have to go a bit bigger. Let's go, okay, let's go 15. And by doing that, it's made me realize my text is not quite in the center. Now, from there, we're just gonna go into effects and we'll search for transform. There you go, it should be under distort. We're gonna drop that onto the black video. And as you can see, we've got another set of anchor point positions, scale height, scale width, etc. But we're just gonna pull the scale height down to zero. We'll go to the beginning and create a brand new keyframe on that scale height. Now we'll go five or six keyframes to the right and we'll pull that up to above 100. So let's go 135. Then we'll go another few frames over and we'll pull that to 100. And when we play this back, you'll see that bounces up like this. Then we just wanna let that pause for a second and we'll create a brand new keyframe on position. Now we'll pull the position keyframe over to the left. So we'll pull the position of this over. Now, as you can see, I am supposed to be pulling this over, but it's not working for some bizarre reason. And I'm not quite sure why that's not working. I think Premiere is being a bit buggy. So if that does happen to you, then just go back to motion and pull the position over here. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe on that position. We'll go a few seconds over and we'll pull the position of that over to the right to pass the text. Then we're gonna hold for a second, create a brand new keyframe on scale height. And then we'll go five or six keyframes over and pull that down to zero. So this is what that action is. As you can see, that yellow line animation was probably a touch too slow. So I'm just gonna select that keyframe and then I'm gonna select the animation keyframes. So scaling out, so highlight those. I'm just gonna pull that over to the left to speed that up a touch. There you go, that looks nicer. But at the moment, I would argue that there's not really any character to that animation. And that is because the keyframes are just normal linear keyframes. Now linear keyframes are fine, they do what they're supposed to do, but there's not a lot of character to them. So I'm just gonna select all of those keyframes. I'll right click over one of them, select temporal interpolation and select ease in. Now when we play this back, you can see there's a bit more character there. Before we carry on with this video, I want to take a quick moment to talk about the Brooker Films Video Creator Academy. This is a new learning platform where you can learn how to create amazing videos. There are masterclasses that are aimed towards lighting, cinematography, sound work, how to edit videos in Adobe Premiere, how to use Adobe After Effects, how to become a YouTuber, and so much more. There is currently over 20 hours worth of video content available to you over there. So if you like what you see over here on the Brooker Films YouTube channel, then do consider checking out the BF Video Creator Academy because you'll find content like this, but taken to the next level. 
And as a special thank you for your support, if you use the code YouTube60, then you can get 6% off the all access plan. So that is bfvideocreatoracademy.com. The link is in the description below. Now back to the video. So now we can go ahead and animate the text. So we want to go to the end point. So go to the point where this yellow line stops animating, which is there. Then you want to go to the text layer and you want to create a mask around the text. So go to the fridge or bezier, draw a line along that yellow line, and then we'll just go over to the left. So make sure we can see the entire text and we'll create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Now you want to go back to that yellow solid layer. We'll go to that first keyframe where it started moving. So there, go back to the text layer and we're just going to move this mask over to the left. So as you can see, it's going to follow that yellow line. But you can see because we had those easy ease keyframes, it's not following that linear path. So we just need to go into that motion and we just want to basically nudge the mask up to that yellow line to make sure that it doesn't fall behind at any point. Now I'm just going to proof watch that to make sure that's all in check. Yep, that looks great. So now we take this back to the beginning and you can see we have completed the animation. The yellow line popped up, scrolled across to reveal the text and then dropped back down again. So that is essentially the text effect now complete. Although in order to really round this off, I'm just going to select both of those layers, right click and select nest. And as you can see, now we've got them nested into one layer. We can pull the scale down or alternatively, we could move the position of this into the corner if we wanted this to be a lower third. Essentially nesting these two individual layers into one nested sequence gives us control to animate this with the scale and the position, rotation, anchor points, and it's going to affect both of those layers at the same time rather than only one. So there you go. That is how you do this pop-up sliding text reveal effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and I really do hope this video helped you to learn something new. So thank you again for watching and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.